I'm a guy who likes comic books. As you can probably tell. That's right, I enjoy these cheaply produced magazines that were used as ad space to sell to kids and working class people for pocket change. At least that's what they were before it became $5 for a single comic book completely pricing out the working class market! In spite of their humble beginnings, the great creators who made these books were able to make them special with creative, and in many respects, revolutionary stories that entertained generations. I mean, Superman, the Batman, the Spirit, the Shadow, the Phantom, a lot of does, Spider-Man, the list of characters could go on for pages. It was a collaborative process that required the hard work of everyone involved. Penciler, inker, scriptwriter, letterer, colorist, and so on. But most of these comics were produced before the era of digital coloring, roughly around 1990, so one of these people is having their work slowly erased. You see, old comics should look more like this, but for some reason they look like this. Why? I'm of the mind that if a comic book was produced during the pre-digital coloring era, that it should keep those colors when converted to digital and reprinted on glossy paper. Not to sound like your racist uncle arguing that we should keep up all the Confederate statues, but when you recolor old comics, you're racing history, boy! Don't get me wrong, I understand why it's done. They do it because it's more readable on modern glossy paper reprints, and because the process of color separation for comics has changed significantly. If they were to reprint it exactly as it looked, it wouldn't be the prettiest. As the medium progressed, talented colorists learned how to work within the limits of their medium to make the coloring format the best it could be. And companies don't seem to understand that. For example, when companies recolor comic books, they don't take into account how the colors would become more muted when printed on a newsprint or pulp paper. Instead, they tend to translate the original colors exactly onto more glossy paper. However, when doing this, the colors become oversaturated and really harsh on the eyes. It just looks much worse than the original, especially if the colorist had a specific vision for how the original colors would look on the paper. On the other hand, I understand that that wasn't always the case, and that there are actually some cases where the original colorist was unsatisfied with the original work and wanted to go back and change the book to fit their true vision. Which, you know, I can respect. Everyone has the right to their true vision. However, I wouldn't mind the recoloring in that case existing as an option, or recoloring in general existing as an option as long as the original versions were sold with it so people could see how it originally looked, or if the originals were readily available as a separate purchase. It's the same way I feel about music remixes or movie re-edits. They're fine as long as the original is available to observe. I've actually reached a point where I avoid buying legacy comic books altogether when I know that they are recolored for the new printing. And yes, I am aware that leaves me very limited on my options for purchases. In conclusion, when reprinting old comics from their vast catalogs, companies should ideally remaster the old art from high-quality scans, as some companies are experimenting with, or just reprint them as cheap scans showcasing what the stories always were. At least, that's how I feel. If you disagree, please tell me. Tell me that I'm a big dummy. Bye.